Your sign of Scorpio. My name is Kim and I'll do your reading for the weekly, February 15th through the 19th. Thank you all for joining me so much. Um, thank you for the likes, shares, subscribes. Please subscribe if you haven't. And we're gonna get started. So Scorpio, we call in divine white light to send us only the messages that are for Scorpio's highest good, asking their angels and spirit guides to join us with this, with this reading or at this reading, I should say. We're gonna start off with the archetype deck and then pull a few more oracle cards with the tarot at the end, kind of clarifying what it wants to clarify. And we're gonna start for Scorpio, February 15th through the 19th. That one, these two definitely want to come out. So we're taking them out. You have the village on the bottom, like your hometown. That's what that's kind of about. Hometown, the hunter, the riddle. Okay, so the hunter, that is about um, having your eye on your target knowing exactly what you're going after okay the hunter is the predator really um the hunter likes to kill precisely so that it doesn't cause any unnecessary suffering i'm not sure how this can be a metaphor for you but take it as it is the hunter will make sure that they know one what are they hunting for and two is this the right weapon of choice to use then we have the riddle and the riddle is just this great mystery in life. It's like they say, you can understand life backwards, but we must live it forwards. So there's something that is a complete mystery to you. You can't figure it out. Maybe it's a person or a situation. Um, maybe some of that brain power needs to be focused on something else because these things will be revealed. All in all, these things will definitely end up being revealed. Let's dive into the Oracle cards and let's get some more information for you. Get a couple of spell casting cards for Scorpio. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. Nice. Family on the bottom, guys. Family. So we have good luck and career. Good luck and career. The black cat signifies a lucrative win with this card. I love his little um, crown. I love that on that cat. It's so cute. And then career. So it's good luck in a career-related uh, related issue. There's something with this career that I feel like maybe that's what you've got your target on, your eyes set on. There's some good luck, like a wheel of fortune good luck that's turning in your favor. And I think something like either how it's becoming about, how it's coming together might be a mystery or what exactly the goal is at this moment might be a mystery. Now let's keep on going. Let's see what the wisdom from the Oracle deck has to say. I love this deck. Or Scorpio. Two cards. Deep knowing and TikTok. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. TikTok is about divine timing. Something that's going to happen. It's just divine timing. Like the temperance card. We must wait. There might be some chaotic times around you. There may be some calamity around you, but there is a time and a place for everything. And at that time and place, then you'll have the deep knowing of the answer to the riddle. Then you'll have that that answer. All right, divine timing. Divine timing at play. Let's get a guardian angel card for you, Scorpio. Let's see what it has to say. Angel of past lives. Hmm. This is where your angels want to remind you that you have done this before. You are here for a special reason. You're here at this place, this dimension, for a very special reason. We even have angel of soulmates on the bottom, maybe indicating that your past lives may have been led together with somebody. I think you're gonna start getting information. I think it's part of the riddle. It's part of the things that you're doing here on earth. It's part of the goal. It's even part of the good luck that you're gonna have. 
and the divine timing. There's a lot that's tied up into your past lives, and I feel like some of these things are going to be known. It's all with timing, and especially has to do with your career. It might be something that you did, um, and it and you mastered it like a long time ago. You have mastered it, so you are here now to give to society your gifts, your spiritual gifts. Let's go to the tarot and see if it wants to clarify anything for us. Or Scorpio, please. Sometimes they just all want to play out, and that is your case. So we have the High Priestess on the bottom. Deep knowing with the High Priestess. Deep knowing. <clears throat> all right. We have the Sun and the Hermit. The Sun and the Hermit. That's that divine help. That extra boost of energy with the Sun shining in on everything that you're doing. And I believe that you can find this energy, this light inside you with the Hermit card of Virgo. We go inside and we find out all this divine information because there is a divine spark in you. And we receive Spirit's help by finding and enlightening ourselves about something that's really great inside of us that I believe has to do with past career, past lives, that's going to have some information that kind of, so that you'll come out with information for other people to help guide them too. And here's part of the riddle, the hunter, the magician. You will get what you go after with the magician. You have everything at your disposal right now. And you even have hidden gifts, like I said, in the past that you might not remember at this time, but have a lot to do with why you're going towards the career that you're going. All right. This is the only thing that I have as far as like, you know, ugh, ugh energy. The Seven of Swords has to do with this. I don't, I don't think that there's an equal give and take in something. And it might have to do with your career. Something's going to be balanced because this, this is not going to be allowed to go on further. It's either talking about a theft or somebody stealing away with maybe even work that you've done. May, something like that. Um, some kind of illusion of what how something was and something really was not fair somebody seems like somebody might have been doing more of the work than the other people there wasn't an equal give and take there wasn't an equal give an exchange of energy there and then we have Queen of Swords seven of Pentacles so we're progressing six to seven we're growing something different and this is still from things that we did in the past. With the seven, it's things, seeds that were sown in the past, watching them grow. The queen of swords might be how they're asking you to view your career at this time, which would be uh, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, but it, it means to uh, view things, like try to see the truth, um, reading between the lines. If there's a lie being told or if there's some deception of things not being completely fair, you can figure it out with the Queen of Swords energy and it's here for you right now. This is going to be blossoming abundance too in the future. We have Five of Wands. That is competition. So have competition showing up. People can't move forward or backwards when they are not getting along like this. The Hierophant. A commitment may have been a commitment that you have already signed up for or it might be a, this past life commitment this deep knowing it may be with another person too this might be like a love reading maybe with a Taurus and then we have my favorite card three of wands which is you have a knowing and you'll have divine timing for this three of wands where you're just gonna open your arms and be grateful and ready to receive this this stuff that you owe you're owed something you're owed even from past life i think that you're owed let's see let's get some tea leaves scorpio see if we can get some more this is a better reading from your um weekend reading for sure maybe dealing with an aries we have dark man dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or dark hair Dog close up, pleasure with a close friend, ant, work, achievement, success. Yeah, right here with that seven of pentacles. It's building February. If somebody needed a month, that might be the divine timing. Maybe dealing with an airy, stubborn, aggressive person. Maybe. 
maybe. Lily, spiritual love. Finger warning you to a problem either now or in the near future. I think it's with that deception. And then Quill, get back to the basics, probably with your work. And then Tiger, doing something risky and taking a chance. All right. All right, guys, there was your messages. Thanks for joining me. Sending love and light out to you, Scorpio. Bye.